Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Eureka Water Probes uh, instructional video. Today we're going to talk about calibrating your pH sensor. It's pretty simple really. All you need are two of your favorite pH buffer solutions. It's got some DI water, your reference electrode electrolyte. Let's jump in. First of all, this is a good time to clean your sensors of any foreign material that could potentially affect your pH calibration. For cleaning products, we use a mild soap, like a Dawn soap, uh, warm soapy water, soft bristle brush, works great. Okay, now that we have your instrument cleaned and ready to go, we're gonna connect it to the computer. So we'll take our USB cable, connect it to the computer. Other end goes to our USB to serial adapter. Nine pin end connects to the data cable and then our six pin end connects to the sound. If you haven't replaced your reference electrolyte recently, now is the time to do it. This is a good time to replace electrolyte solution before you calibrate your pH sensor. So to replace our reference electrolyte, we're gonna remove the calibration cup. You can use a coin or a flathead screwdriver to remove the reference cap and we're just gonna dump out the solution that's in there and replace it with new solution. Got my reference electrolyte solution here and we want to fill this up all the way to the top till it's basically overflowing, forming a meniscus we're gonna put our cap on. You will notice electrolyte solution forcing its way out through this little white Teflon frit. Just like that. Replace the cap. Now we want to do some rinse with water. So for our rinsing process, we do two rinses with DI water, then two rinses with the solution of your choice. We're going to start with pH 10. Second rinse. Then we'll fill the cup until it's submerged. Start your program as usual by clicking the icon on your desktop screen. When your pH reading has stabilized, click on the Manta 2 pull-down menu at the top left-hand corner of your screen, hover over Calibrate, and then click on pH units. You can click OK because you know that your pH buffer's reading has stabilized. You will then be prompted to do your second calibration. To calibrate your second point, we're going to do our rinsing process once again with our DI or RO water. Second rinse with water. Then two rinses with our seven buffer. Then finally, fill the cup up to where all of your sensors are submerged. Wait for the reading to stabilize and then click OK. 
The mantle will ask you if you wish to calibrate a third buffer. We don't recommend calibrating a third point unless required by your SOP. If you wish to calibrate a third point, simply follow the same procedure used in the first two buffers. If not, click OK. On the next screen, you will find the sensor response factor. The SRF is Eureka's unique way to show you how close your calibration is to that of a typical sensor. An SRF between 80 and 120 is acceptable. If your SRF is significantly outside that range, it likely means your sensor needs cleaning. Your reference electrolyte needs to be changed, your buffers are faulty, or you mistyped your buffer value. The pH SRF has three numbers. The first indicates the success of your first buffer. The second indicates the success of your second buffer. The third indicates your overall success compared to the calibration of a typical pH sensor. If you are not satisfied with your SRF scores, click Cancel to return to the main screen with no changes made to your pH calibration. If you are satisfied with your SRF scores, click OK. For a few seconds, you will see a confirmation that your calibration is successful, then you return to the main screen. Note that your calibration has been stored in the Manta's permanent calibration log, which you can see by clicking the Manta 2 pull-down, choosing Cal Log, and all of the information from any previous sensor calibrations are stored there. That concludes our pH calibration video today.